Hello and welcome to another updated tutorial on how to install the TIE Fighter Total Conversion or TFTC version 1.3 for X-Wing Alliance. This version of TFTC works as either a full, clean installation of the mod or as a patch to an existing installation to TFTC, be it version 1, 1.1 or 1.2. As the installation process isn't an entirely streamlined one, this video will guide you step by step through the process of installing TFTC, address some issues you may encounter along the way, and then provide some other useful tips and information that you might have questions about. You can also visit our website at www.tiefightertc.com which also has a complete guide to installing the mod along with all sorts of useful information about the project as a whole. First off, some prerequisites you'll need before installing a clean version of TFTC. You'll first need a copy of X-Wing Alliance. This can be purchased from either Good Old Games, Steam or Origin. The original CD version of X-Wing Alliance also works, but will need an additional installation step which we will cover in a moment, but we strongly advise you to use a digital version. You will also need to download the X-Wing Alliance Upgrade 2020 Mega Patch from the X-Wing Alliance Upgrade website. As TFTC version 1.3 includes the XWAU Update 5 and 5.5 patches bundled as part of the installation, you do not need to download or install this update patch separately. Finally, you will need to download the TFTC 1.3 installer and the subsequent 1.3.1 patch from our ModDB page. The combined XWAU and TFTC mods will require a significant amount of disk space and will use the Windows temp folder when extracting. For this reason, we strongly recommend that you have at least 50GB of free space on your C drive before installing or at least 20GB if you intend to install the mod to a separate drive. If you do not have enough free disk space during installation on your C drive, this can cause the TFTC installer to crash midway through installation without any apparent error being shown. If finding enough free space is difficult, you can use the Windows Disk Cleanup utility to try and remove files and there are even methods to move your Windows temp folder to another drive. Alright then, prerequisites out of the way. First off, we'll go through the process of a full, clean installation of TFTC. If you are just wanting to patch TFTC, please skip ahead to the appropriate timestamp in this video, which is shown in the video description. So let's first proceed to make a new installation of X-Wing Alliance. Be sure to install the game outside of any Windows protected folders such as program files or any other folder that may have special write or read permissions. Once your installation is complete, we highly recommend you then make a copy of the X-Wing Alliance folder afterwards. As there is no DRM protection on this game, you can make a copy and put it anywhere you like and it will still run just fine. One final thing of note, as we mentioned earlier, the CD version of X-Wing Alliance requires an additional installation step. It will be necessary after installing the game to copy the contents of the WAV folder from both Disk 1 and Disk 2 to your installation. If you do not do this, you will encounter an error when attempting to install the mod regarding missing files and the installation will fail. If you are installing the game from Steam, we recommend you start the game at least once before proceeding any further so that any necessary first time installation files are performed by Steam when running. Ok, great, the game is installed. Next, it's time to install the XWAU mod. Remember that as of version 1.3 of TFTC, it is not necessary to download and install the Update 5 or 5.5 patch separately, as it's included as part of the TFTC 1.3 installation. So all you need to do next is download the main XWAU 2020 Mega Patch from the XWAU website. Once you have it, install the Mega Patch, follow its instructions, and make sure you select the correct install path to your X-Wing Alliance folder. It will take a few moments to install and will then be complete. In the future, the XWAU team will release further update patches or mega patches that may not be compatible with 1.3 of TFTC. As such, the TFTC team will release any patches as needed to accommodate for new changes to ensure compatibility. Awesome! You've now got X-Wing Alliance with the XWAU mod installed. Now we're finally ready to install TFTC. So if you haven't already, download the TFTC version 1.3 and also the 1.3.2 patch from our ModDB page, maybe make a cup of tea while you wait for the download, and then once you have it, extract the contents of the zip file to a folder of your choosing and then proceed to run the installer and follow its instructions. Make sure you've selected the correct install path that you previously installed X-Wing Alliance and XWAU to. 
It is critical. From this point, you pay close attention, depending if you are installing the full mod or just want to patch TFTC from an existing installation. If you are running the game from a clean installation of X-Wing Alliance with XWAU for the first time, then you will need to select this option when the installer asks you. When selected, you will be presented with some extra options, including whether you want to have the remastered or classic MIDI soundtracks, and if you wish to install the original or updated tutorial missions in the classic campaign. If you are new to X-Wing Alliance or just want to brush up on your skills, we highly recommend you select the updated tutorials. Bear in mind the updated tutorials contain new voiceover dialogue, but don't worry, the dulcet tones of the original briefing officer will soon be with you after completing them. For the reimagined campaign, the updated tutorials are the default and only choice. Once done, go make another cup of tea, and then after a few minutes, the mod will be installed. After that, there is now just one last thing to install, and that's the 1.3.2 patch, which fixes a few critical issues that were with 1.3 and 1.3.1. This is just a patch and not the full version of TFTC, so you must have version 1.3 installed prior to installing this patch. If you are installing this patch on a pre-existing installation instead of a clean one, please skip to this timestamp before proceeding. Installing this patch is just as straightforward. Simply extract and run the file, select the correct install path, and then proceed to install. You will be given the option to choose your soundtrack again, but you can otherwise ignore this and proceed as normal. You can always change the soundtrack type later on if you wish. Great, you've done a clean install of TFTC, but as we've mentioned a couple of times now, you can also use this installer as a patch for an existing installation of TFTC. So, if you are on version 1, 1.1 or 1.2 of TFTC, it is absolutely critical before you proceed that you switch your current installation back to XWAU. To do this, select the Palpatine Total Converter from the Launcher menu, select Convert TFTC, and then select Restore the Light Side. This will set the game back to XWAU. We also recommend, as a precaution, that you back up your pilot files, which can be found in the root folder of your installation under the file type .plt. With this done, you can now run the version 1.3 installer, and when presented with the install type option, you will instead need to select the second option. There won't be any further options you need to check here, so just proceed as normal and install. Once finished, your installation will now be up to date on version 1.3, and you can use the Palpatine converter to switch back to TFTC Classic or Reimagined. Please note that if you are also installing the 1.3.2 patch on a pre-existing installation of 1.3 or 1.3.1, then the same steps of restoring to the light side are required. So just to remind you, the most common installation issues are the result of either insufficient C drive disk space, file or folder permission errors denying access to certain files, failure to install the required prerequisite XWAU mod, if installing the game from Steam not running it for the first time, and errors if you are using the CD version of X-Wing Alliance. If you have any other difficulties, hop onto our Discord server and go to our help desk channel for assistance. So now you have everything ready, we're good to go. But if you've just installed a clean version of TFTC, we still need to activate the mod. So, open your X-Wing Alliance shortcut, or alternatively the alliance.exe file in the root directory, to run the X-Wing Alliance launcher. Right now, if we were to run the game, you will be launching the XWAU mod, and not TFTC. So, we first need to click on the Palpatine Total Converter, which will run a tool that will allow us to change which mod we are currently running. You'll see we have the option to switch to the dark side, and have the TFTC Classic or Reimagined options available. In brief, TFTC Classic offers all 13 original battle campaigns with all the original story, dialogue, voiceover files and in-flight audio. TFTC Reimagined currently offers 8 battle campaigns, envisioning an expanded version of the original TIE Fighter story with larger battles, new voiceovers, updated story and dialogue. Simply make your choice and press next, and in a few seconds the change is made and you can close the program. Once again, open the X-Wing Alliance launcher, and you should now see either a TFTC Classic or Reimagined launcher now, depending on which version you chose, and you can now run TFTC proper. Please remember if you are running Steam, to not run the game through the Steam launcher itself, as the game has problems with the Steam overlay which can cause the game to not load when you try to run it. Always run the game from the provided shortcut, or directly from the game files. Some extra things to bear in mind, 
and consider. If you wish to swap between TFTC Classic or Reimagined, you simply open up the Palpatine converter again, then follow the same process as before. You can also switch back to normal X-Wing Alliance by simply clicking on Restore the Light Side. You do not need to create a pilot when launching TFTC. A pilot is automatically created and loaded for you when you run the mod for the first time. This is called Alpha 1 for Classic and Alpha 2 for Reimagined. If you wish to have your own pilot name, select the pilot options in the launcher and select Create New Player. You can then launch the game and you will be prompted to input your new pilot name. We strongly recommend you use different pilot files for Classic or Reimagined, as if for example you complete the Classic campaign and then use that pilot in Reimagined, it will already be completed with all the ranks and medals. Bear in mind that if you swap versions, then it will unload the existing pilot and preload the Alpha 1 or 2 pilots depending on the version you've picked. If you wish to alter some of the settings of the mod or X-Wing Alliance in general, you can then use the Babu Frick configurator to change these settings. This includes access to the extra graphical effects that X-Wing Alliance upgrade provides, such as bloom effects, enabling VR, or you can also swap between the remastered or classic soundtracks available, and even buff your fighter hull strength. X-Wing Alliance upgrade and TFTC support a wide variety of different joystick and controllers, but there can still be some issues in getting these to work properly, particularly with various throttle and axis binds. If you wish to tweak your joystick or controller settings, the X-Wing Alliance upgrade mod contains a community-built configurator which allows more modern HOTAS joystick and controller support and configuration. We have collected together several pre-configured profiles for you on a variety of joysticks and controllers to download. The link for this repository is in the description of this video. One of the more common issues is for the player to find themselves endlessly spinning or rolling about. First, be sure to disable the rudder in the in-game menu, which can be accessed by pressing the escape button, and then in the joystick configurator, you can also modify the axis controls here as well, or even bind an axis to a non-existent controller ID in the configurator to stop some rolling or spinning issues. If for some reason you don't have a joystick or even a controller, the game can even be controlled purely by keyboard and mouse. To do this, use the Babu Frick configurator to turn on joystick emulation and then set the mouse sensitivity. If you do still find yourself facing issues, please do join our Discord server and head over to the Joysticks and Controllers channel for assistance. The community will be happy to try and help resolve your problems. VR support for X-Wing Alliance upgrade and TFTC is available and can be activated by going to the Babu Freak configurator, choosing Customize Special Effects, and then at the bottom, you can find Head Tracking options to enable. Whilst the VR does work, it isn't perfect, and it's a taxing drain on even the most powerful of systems. We recommend you lower the resolution when playing with VR as a result. If you do experience any jittering or latency issues, members of our community have been posting updates and are working hard to try and resolve these kind of issues, to try and get a more smoother experience for VR players. We recommend that you join our Discord server and check out the VR Help channel for more information. It is possible to make advanced tweaks to the graphical settings of X-Wing Alliance Upgrade and TFTC without using the Babu Frick configurator. The files Bloom, DDraw and SSAO.CFG are found in the root folder of your installation and give you a great deal of control to a wide variety of graphical options. These files can be opened in Notepad or any other text-based editor. Additionally, if you are wanting to use something other than 16:9 or 16:10 aspect ratios for ultra widescreen monitors for example, you can edit the file hooks.ini and set your resolution settings there. Please remember that these settings may be overwritten when switching versions or installing future patches so make backups of them if you do make any changes. If you press the escape button in-game, you can access the game's regular options including difficulty levels, if you want to cheat a little, and various sound sliders to get the right balance that works for you. We also recommend you turn off the lens flare effect from video options and hardware only options. This is because the game overrides the X-Wing Alliance upgrade lens flare effect, which is a much nicer and softer looking effect. You can also change the user interface colour here as well. Along with all the main battle campaign missions, we also ported in all 28 original TIE Fighter training missions as well. These can be found in the Combat Simulator under the button Training Missions. The training missions will unlock as you progress through the campaign, so you will have to complete up to 28 campaign missions before you can play them all. 
When in flight, if you do not want to use the dynamic cockpit, you can disable it by pressing the period or full stop button, and then by pressing D, you will get the classic X-Wing Alliance interface up. Disabling the dynamic cockpit can improve frame rates. One shortcut tip that will not be immediately obvious is when you are flying the missile boat in later campaign missions. You will want to use its slam capabilities by pressing the K key. Another in-flight trick that's not too well known is the landing gear and S-foils. This mainly affects the gunboat tutorial mission as you have extra lives here and will respawn if you die. However, upon respawn, your landing gear will be down and S-foils closed and will prevent you from firing your weapons. To resolve this, press Ctrl L to raise your landing gear and then press the V key to open your S-foils. Both actions take a second or two to complete, but then you should be able to fire again. And that, my friends, should cover most of the basics. If you require any further assistance, please do join our Discord server or post in our forums and request help from our tech support channels. You can also mail us at tftcproject at gmail.com. Otherwise, load up the mod and enjoy yourselves.